No. <laughs> uh, so, we now have my friend Liz Cheek, who's going to play as this glorious andante from the late Baroque period. Um, I hear this piece and I immediately think of the summer's afternoon. And I'm going to experience this in the same way that I
called Indian Drums and really demonstrates the percussive nature of um, Indian drumming. And that, that, that interesting that it's used as a form of communication, similar to smoke signals in that respect, I guess. So those who he's going to play this for is he's going to play it as if initially the Indian drums are right here with us and then some Indian drums far, far away respond to what they just heard.
school was calling, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so how's everyone done apart from my final piece, which I would just remind you is a nocturne. So nocturne means evoking music of the night, basically. And after Field wrote the first set of nocturnes, all the romantic composers were left on. Chopin wrote 21, Rachmaninoff wrote several, Schumann wrote several, right through to the guy that I'm going to play you next, who's Scriabin. Scriabin was born in 1892, so I think this was written around about the turn of the century. Um, he damaged his right hand whilst over rehearsing some list, and this is something which is particularly dear to my heart, as many of you know. I was my right hand over Paxton Beethoven. So there's a parallel there. So he's, he's moved the form of the nocturne into to being able to manage it with one hand. Manage it with one hand with some difficulty, I hasten to add. As the piano got bigger and the action got heavier and the keyboard got broader, the scope for writing the form of the nocturne became all of those things bigger and broader, richer and bigger. And hopefully some of that will carry my form of screaming nocturne for the left hand. <laughs>
Finally, well done to everyone for playing today. Really great afternoon. Thank you all very much.